What's up, you guys? We're back. We're doing another session in the series. So if you watched the last series, I told you we would be talking about not having an exit strategy before you enter a trade. This is another common mistake that always baffles me. Okay? So this, you always got to have an exit strategy before you even put on a trade. And we're going to get into a lesson. We're going to get into an example and then a small summary. So let's begin. So there are a lot of books and articles and seminars devoted to the trade setup. In fact, there are so many gurus that have made an entire career teaching their unique setup. So the trade setup obviously is a very important aspect of a trade, but I argue that the exit is actually much more important than the entry. However, the majority of traders overly concentrate on the entry and treat the exit portion of the trade as an afterthought. They only consider their exit strategy after they initiate a trade. Even worse, most traders treat the exit strategy as a moving target instead of a pre-established target that should be determined even bef before the trade is entered. And that's why the one minute multi-day VWAP strategy is so important because our entry is at the VWAP break and we're looking forward to retest multi-day. So our price, our profit target is already set. All right, and that's the cool thing about this chart too because it kind of gives us our targets based on data aggregation for the day. So now that the day is done, it's done its own thing. They're spread out now, and a lot of people use Fibonacci, um, a lot of different strategies, but just knowing when you're getting out of a trade is so important. So some traders get half the exit strategy correct before they put the trade on, however, this isn't enough, and just as bad as, as having no exit strategy, these traders feel that by establishing a stop price on the downside of the trade, or a sell stop for a long position and a buy stop for a short position, they have an exit strategy. Having a stop price isn't enough. A trader must establish a profit price target on the upside as well. Without an upside price target and downside stop price for every trade, a trader doesn't know his risk to reward for that trade before entering. Is it two to one, four to one, or 10 to one? Without knowing the risk reward of a trade before the trade is initiated means the trader is just gambling, not trading. So like many traders, let's talk about Allen. He only concentrated on the setup for his trades. After a while of mediocre trading results, he called to vent his frustration. He said, I'm really getting sick of this. I have great setups and my positions usually start to go my way. However, a lot of times they go against me and I get stopped out. But then the stock comes back and I would have made money if I hung on. I keep playing around with my stock price. First, I had it at 25 cent loss for the trade. Then I moved it to 40 cent and now I moved it back to 30 cent. I feel my setups are good but I keep getting stopped out. So Allen, unfortunately, is a very typical trader. He feels he's doing the correct actions by establishing a stop price before the downside or the losing position of the trade. And when I asked him about his exit strategy on the upside, his profit portion of the trade, his response was, it depends on a few factors. I usually try to make $300 per trade, but if I'm having a bad day and I need to get profitable for the day, I'll try to make a little more. So let's examine what what's wrong with Allen? First, a fixed upside and downside price target should only be used if that strategy has been tested to see if it's profitable. A fixed target is one that is simply placed a certain price away from the entry price and is based on that entry price. For example, let's say a trader has a risk reward goal of two to one for his trades. If a trader buys a stock at $25 and his objective is to make 50 cent on the trade, which is sale at 25.50, he would use a, a sale stop of 25 cents. So he would sell at 24.75. In Allen's case, he didn't have a fixed price target for his exit. He was based on a dollar amount, $300, and he would increase that if he felt he needed to make more money for the day. He didn't have a clearly defined risk reward profile for the trade before entering. Uh, and I only recommend having a fixed price target for traders that use analytic software to analyze trade entries and exits. 
I don't recommend fixed targets for traders that use technical analysis or charting for generating their trade ideas. Using technical analysis or TA, a potential trade setup will appear when a certain pattern is realized or an indicator has reached a certain value. So once the setup appears, the trader must analyze the chart and establish a logical price target and price stop for the trade. He then must determine if that trade satisfies his required risk reward. So for example, let's say a trader is using a chart based breakout strategy that calls for a buy at $40 based on the chart, a logical place to put a sales stop would be $39.70 based on that price representing a failed breakout. So on the upside, a logical place for an upside price target is $40.90. This would represent a three to one risk reward for the trade. If this is acceptable to the trader, you should put the trade on with those price targets. In this example though, the price targets aren't fixed. Rather, they're generated by looking at a chart and then determining if the risk reward profile for the trade meets or exceeds the trader's accepted risk for a trade. This is very different than seeing the setup and entering your exit targets based on a fixed number. So, in summary, all traders must have profit and loss price targets established when a trade is initiated. They should be written down in a trading log so they can be reviewed. Not having these targets means you don't know the risk profile of the trade and that equates to gambling. A well thought out trading strategy will have price targets that, that can be paper traded using a real time data de demo platform before committing real money to the strategy. So Webull has a nice paper trading demo account um, Thinkorswim also has one. So, in summary, you guys have to do the work. You know, just listen to what I just said. They should be written down in a trading log so they can be reviewed. Are you reviewing your trades? Are you writing them down? If not, you're not doing the work. You're not doing the work required to actually get better. So, how can you get better? How do you get better shooting jump shots if you're not in the gym working on your free throws? You have to work out, you have to exercise, you have to be consistent with what it takes to treat trading like a business and doing what it takes to be a real business. So that is why you should have an exit strategy before you enter a trade. You need to know what is your risk to reward. So I hope this video helped you out. Make sure you hit the notify button so you can get notified when these videos are hot off the press. So you can get some news you can use and apply it to your trading. Talk to you guys later.